<laughs> and being 6.15, we have posted the agenda in three places, saying that the meeting starts at 6.15. Recording in progress. And we're now recording. Um, it's been uh, um, posted on the website and emailed to interested parties, so we can move forward with this um, meeting. And I'm going to start with the prior meeting minutes for September 26. They looked um, appropriate to me. Do you guys have any corrections or concerns with I them? just made one little correction to put an I in front I of the 89, 89 signs. Instead of 89 signs, yeah. not 89 oh. signs on the Yeah, part. 50 yeah. years from now, they'll wonder where those 89 <laughs> signs okay. are. All right. So I'd move to approve the minutes with that, second that, that. addition. All in favor? Aye. Right. Okay, cool. And um, we have... Um, any guests, Larry, are you here for anything in particular? Just, just you miss us? I do miss you. All right, we miss you too. All right. Um, we've got the, um, on the new business, we've got the um, September treasurer's report. Did you guys have a chance to study on that much? I looked it over. You looked it over and anything <laughs> jump out at you? No, it did not. No, no. me neither. Yeah. A lot of numbers. Well, I always, um, <laughs> always wish there was more on the bottom line, but that's um, mm -hmm. no, never, still never a float. Gonna <laughs> never going to happen. No, no. So, um, is so that something that moved to approve this this edition of the treasurer's we, report? We approve the review. Uh, approve the review. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, we had a request from John Duger uh, about his utility bill. Um, and do you have, Frank, you had some details, or Terry, you had details, details. on that? Details. Nothing about it. Don't know right. nothing about it. Right. Here's the bills. That he has right here. Okay. And this was his request. Okay, he called and um, he has two late water bills and um, would like to resolve with some help. He's trying to sell his property and it's um, so this is. Um, what do we got? The total amount due is what, $674 or is this, um, is it two separate ones? Should be the September no, I think this is the other one. If that was the balance yeah. forward, okay. Right. And so, I understand, you chatted, so this is property that he hasn't been in, but he kept the water on just in case he would come? I'm not sure. Terry, do you know? What the deal was there? I don't think he gets a lot of usage. I think it's just... He doesn't have a lot of usage or anything, but if his water is not shut off, and if we shut it off, then i disconnect it, and he would have to pay a new hookup fee for both water and sewer, and he'd have to probably go through uh, an engineer, which would have to go through the state to see if we could hook it back in. So you're talking, it'd probably cost him roughly, probably... Guessing around three to five thousand dollars if I unhook it. Sure, okay. And he never requested unhooking it. Never he requested. never did. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I've. I I'm can add a little to that because the property is being transferred. Um, all the property taxes and utility bills need to be satisfied before transferring the deed. Right. So that, that balance would typically be taken out of the, his proceeds from the sale of the house. So it's not something that he really needs to pay up front in order for the house to sell. The attorneys call and they get the property tax bill and whatever might be due for right. water and sewer and they, they divvy prorate it at closing. So this is really something that can easily be handled at his closing. At the closing, yeah. Yeah, I'm in the same situation with um, the garage property. The water is shut off, but I'm still paying the the um, meter charge. Charge. The meter charge. If you, like I said, if you yeah. unhook it, yeah. And for you, it'd be commercial. So, that, so, right. be, so the I'm commercial paying, hookup, I think, three thousand or yeah. twelve hundred for water and two thousand or something like that for sewer. Yeah. Mm. And then you still got to go through the engineering feeds. Yeah. 
So yeah, I, I think that we just um, maybe can clarify with him that this is something that's not going to hold up the sale of his house, but that will be cleared up in the in the, out of his proceeds. The, the, the 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 He's still responsible for it, but it'll be taken yeah, out of yeah, his proceeds. Yeah, so I don't think we can just. Um, Say, hey, congratulations! You're selling your house. You don't have to pay your bills. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. So, um, I'm yeah. just gonna. You wanna um, give him a call yep. back and then measure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing is, he never requested. So right. So he never, yeah. yeah. You can't request it after yeah. the fact. Yeah. It's not like it was a. Over usage oh, from the Zippy's faucet or something. That's something that we can work with people for. This is just for the basic um, service fees. And is um, Tony on Zoom or anybody from the library? Um, I don't think so, but I do. Can um, the person please that's on the phone with the number ending in 4998, could you please state your name? Hmm. There on you. Okay, well, hopefully it's not Tony. Okay, guys, I'm missing this chance to talk. Then. Yep. Um, you got any um, reports from the highway? Like, I know it's not our job that the Route 100 is getting paid, but it is getting paid little <laughs> yeah, by little. little, by little. Yeah. Well, they couldn't work today and, and, and Friday. Yeah. Well, they, they can't oh, anyway the holidays, after the holidays. Yeah, yeah. So they'll be at it tomorrow, I would imagine. And I, I, phew, they're going pretty fast. They yeah. got pretty much up to where they, they thought they'd be at the bridge by mm -hmm. last Thursday. Cause so they're going to be coming through. Pretty good. I've talked to John about working on the capital plan with him, and I'll be sitting down with him. Pat brought up something that we need to address at Bill Carlson's in the Hollows, and I'll go up and look at that. Probably not tomorrow, but maybe the next day. Yeah. He's putting some sign up on his garage. Is that? It's a piece of the back of a school bus. So it sticks it's out in the road stop. a little bit, or what? What's the yeah, deal there? It definitely infringes on the right of way. Yeah. So we'll have to deal with that. Okay. Just because you, you meet a truck there or something, it yeah. could be an issue. And plus, I don't know. I'll take John up with me too to see what. We'll get together, so I'll talk with him. We'll go up and see, see what the deal is. Yep. And we will be working on the budget. He's working on the budget and the capital plan. We'll sit down and get that done in the yep. next week or so. All right. All right. Yep. You said Martha had a question there? Um, yes, please. Um, what what Frank was saying about who was the person he was talking about who had the, the sign on his barn, I, I was writing something and I missed it. That's Bill Carlson on Town Line Road. Okay, so and it's, it's sticking out in the road? No, we're, we're going to take a look at we're it. We're not sure, see, Martha. So. It's been brought to our attention. We have to go up and look at it to see what the deal is with it. Okay, sorry to bother you. No, Thank no you. problem. I'll, I'll mute myself. Okay, thank you. Good. Um, all right, um, Terry, you got any updates on the utility world? No. No? Thanks. No okay. news. Everything's okay. Oh, there's some flushing water. Hello? Hi. Yeah, okay. What? Well, hello? That's the 4998. Yeah, this is Robert Frank. Who was the host of this meeting this evening? That would be um, me, or the well, select board like in general. You. Yeah. Why am I to Wait, so, we hello? can't hear you, Robert. Sorry. What's your question? I continue to be muted. We knew everybody Who's that's doing it. It's me, Kristen. I run the computer, and we mute people um, on Zoom until they raise their hand, um, either vocally or by pressing the raise your hand button, just so we can run a smooth meeting. Well, I think you should put those uh, uh, rules of law or rules and regulations to the public. 
because I didn't know this, and you continue, Kristen, you're continue to, can you, continuing to mute me. <laughs> so, um, so, so you're unmuted. So you're unmuted now. What, 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 what can we do for you tonight, Robert? There's a number of issues. Okay. Well, we're talking. We're we're going to. So on, uh, on my on, on, let me make what, this clear uh, to Kristen. The the um, wait a second. <laughs> I'm looking at my computer and I cannot speak to the computer. I have to speak on the phone. So what what's with that? I don't know. I have know. to sit back and relax. I don't know. Uh, um. So let's um. I, this get so Same we're effort. we're on there. Let's we're we're moving toward public comment, and then we can get on we'll, to we'll onto hook that. Up with you there. Are you able to to manipulate your computer enough to click the raise your hand icon? Uh, well, the next time you uh, post a meeting, say you have to raise your hand in front of Kristen to be present. All right. I, I don't know. know anything about this. It's um, it's pretty common Zoom Courtesy. etiquette. Yeah, it's all, that's between yeah. that's between you and the digital community. This is democracy, and I'm being <laughs> di di disgraced by this. If you'd like me to continue, I will. Um, we when we get to public comment, we'll, we can address your concerns. But we're, we're working through the departmental reports headed that way. Well, Kristen, wake up and smell the roses. Okay. Well, All right. you do have a copy of our agenda that came with the with the Zoom invite. So there's a copy of our agenda, and you'll see that we're on our way to public comment. All right, so um, is Jeff Gephardt um, on there, the, yes, our energy yes. coordinator? Yep. Yep. So, um, he's unmuting as we He's speak. unmuting. Yeah. Good evening, uh, Jeff. Good evening. Hi, Jeff. Yeah. Hi. Um, don't have too much. I, I've been really busy uh, tail end of summer, but I'm starting to, I rolled my sleeves up and starting to get back on, on the horse. Um, we should have, I'm, I'm checking to make sure that it's still coming up, but uh, unless you guys know something differently, we're supposed to have the uh, uh, electric vehicle chargers installed by the end of this month. Um, Sarah Peary has... Uh, we lost you, Jeff. Yeah, he's... Left GMP and um, Kirk Shield. And I sent an email off to him uh, this morning to find out whether they are on track for um, end of October. All right. Yeah, I was curious uh, about that. I can be in touch with Caleb on that, Jeff. The last I knew, they were going to be another year because they yeah. had trouble with the panel. They can't get the the two seven seven four eighty panels for a year. They're a year hmm. out. So unless they were going to, they were going to try to match one up. So. I talked with the, the chief engineer uh, and Caleb there one day and met with a guy that's going to do the work. This was uh, probably two months ago. And they figured it was going to be a year out unless they could find the panel. And, and there wasn't, they thought the panel was at least a year out. Huh. Yes. Okay. Because um, Sarah told me, I believe Sarah told me that she had the equipment. Yeah, I got a copy of that email too, Jeff. And, uh, I yeah. talked with uh, uh, Casey uh, for the Green Mountain Power. He's the one that's going to be doing all the work. They've agreed to do the project and take care of all the trimming and everything, and they, they want to locate it towards the back of the uh, parking lot. Right. And I've requested that right. they stay at Good least connection. 10 feet away, away from the uh, septic line that's buried in there. Okay. They're going to cross it. Okay. They're going to, they're, because that's out near the end, you know, I can, you can see where it runs through there. They're going to be on the parking lot side. I'll, I want to talk to you about that, so we'll go down and we'll look at that. Yeah. Want to, because I, sounds good. I've just taken, I, I just took my uh, video 
Um, oh, so you have better uh, connection without the video? Because I was freezing up here, so I think yeah. hopefully this will keep yeah. me uh, engaged right. with you uh, later on, Frank. Yeah. Um, the library, I have a plain little tag with Cody Downs where I'm trying to find out what he observed when he added flashing between the first and second story. Um, and of course, uh, there's concern remaining about the um, openings in the, particularly the north wall uh, for the windows. And I don't know if anything further is uh, planned there or whether I should con start looking at that. Yeah. I'll continue trying to figure something out there. I, I think you and I need to get together and we'll figure it going forward. I think what we need to do is get a contractor in there to look at that just to see what they think we should do and possibly mm -hmm. look at how we're going to vent that to try to keep the paint on that building. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm uh, available for that. Okay. Um, I also, uh, well, well back, I would set up some spreadsheets to track expenses. Um, those have uh, been neglected for a while. This week I got the electric uh, caught up, and I'll probably be in touch with uh, Kristen uh, to, uh, if I'm missing any of the... Okay. All right. Mike, are you Fuel bills. Um, I'd like meshing those with our the EDI audit and uh, start coming up with some proposals. Great. Is that it? And that's that's really it. Do we have any um, updates on the resiliency zone project from Green Mountain Power? Are they still contemplating that? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, they uh, have a contract with Norwich so Solar. All right. um, it will be next year, not this year. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think um, they'd do it that quick, but hmm. interesting. Yeah, Norwich Solar is going to be doing the design and the permitting for GMP. Cool. Martha, you had some questions. Um, yeah, I just um, I just wondered, going back to when Jeff began talking, um, that electrical vehicle charger, which he said would be installed by the end of this month, is that, that it sounds like maybe that's iffy or not, is that definite? And if so, where was it going to be installed? Where in town? That's going to be at the park and ride across from the fire station? Uh, well, I have new... Um, oh, they changed yeah, that? Yeah, it sounds... Go ahead, Jeff. Um, you know, until tonight, I was under the impression that it was to be installed by the end of the month. Oh, right, right. So it's it's not going to be installed till later? Um, Frank's uh, conversation with the engineer seems to indicate that it's going to be next year. Okay, but next year it would be, it, the, the, the place is the same, the park and ride? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the park and ride north of town, if I said park and ride north of town, north of the village? Um, on the north it's, end of the it's village. in the village, across from the fire station. Village, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry to bother you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Might as well get it straight. Yep. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Yep. Um, so we now are on to our uh, public comment session. Um, Robert, you had... Um, Something you want to talk about other than the um, the Zoom etiquette? The what? The navigation of Zoom meetings. Well, I, I had a lot of a, I mean good information to deliver to the town of Rochester, but um, tomorrow morning I'll be on with the Secretary of State to understand the rules and regulation of Zoom meetings for the select board. Board of Civil Authority, uh, Nancy, you, you look like you're going to throw up in Maine. So, uh, Kristen does not have the authority to mute me, okay? So if you'd like me, if, if you would like me to go on with what I thought was very positive feedback to the town of Rochester, I will do so. 
Okay. Would you like well, me to do that? Please do. Sure. We're, we're ready. Sure. Okay. Number one, Dana, whatever his, Cooney, whatever, I don't know who the uh, road guy is, they're doing an, an incredible job on the roads of Rochester. The building being uh, constructed on the north side of Rochester, I don't know what it's going to be, but the uh, laborers are doing a great job. Number three, the firehouse. The firehouse, uh, can anyone answer this question? When was the old firehouse vacated? 2010 or 2011? 2013. 2013. So that was after uh, Irene. Yes. That prompted that. That was after Irene because the um, the uh, new fire station was built on a donated property that, was that, flooded. that had flooded during Irene. Okay. So I requested from Kristen, who is a paid employee appointed by the town of Rochester, for the deed of the firehouse to determine what is involved with the reason why the building has been vacant for 11 years, 10 years. What's, it's actually what's um, it's being used for storage. It's, it's not vacant, actually. It it's, uh, has a rotating storage depending on the season for town equipment. So we have coffee roasters, brewery people, uh, Bill Carlson wanting to open an antique store. What's the number? Does the town know the number for public real estate to be sold within the town? We choose not to place the building for sale at this time. Well, it's only been 10 years. We have no intentions of selling it. We're using it for storage. Well, I would think that it would be proper to announce for Martha to report that to the town because there's a number of people, the owner of Maple Soul, that want to use that for economic development in the town. That was several years ago, yes. Yeah, that's um, every time we someone has approached us about wanting to purchase it, we've um, it's been made public comment that we uh, were not, not willing to sell it. So well, it's been the that's so that's been publicly stated uh, multiple times. So it's not like a secret. You know the reasons why the town can't sell it? Because we'd like to use it for storage. Well, you might want to look into the state statutes. Okay. The, the the building is not really classified as a very healthy building, as well which was one of the reasons why we needed a new fire department, correct? Right. Well, I would, I would get in touch with the, um, Patty, you're a real estate person. Yes, I am. The reason why the town of Rochester can't put that forward to the public and turn it into an economic development project, just like the school. The town chooses Any to comments? maintain the building it's, it's, for storage purposes. What temperature should the building be held at uh, throughout the year? <laughs> Whatever temperature it is, that's why it's it's a perfect building for what it's being used for. There's no power. Oh, again, you might want to check in with the state. <laughs> okay. okay. That building should be held at 58 degrees year-round. There's no furnace in there. There's no heat. There's no water going into that building. It's yeah. just a cold storage unit. Yeah. And we put the, the park benches, and John keeps the sander in there in the summer for his uh, uh, one of the pickups. And we keep the, the picnic tables in there. The guy who uh, does the sidewalks parks his sidewalk plow in there during the winter just because it keeps it under cover and it's handy for him to use out of there and that's the only thing we use it for and it's just got a bunch of cones in there in case of emergency that is used and uh, that's about it there's a bunch of town equipment in there other than that robert 
It serves a very useful well, you purpose. Might, you, you, you really, Frank, you might, thank you for all that information, but you might want to check in with the state, because that's a tax-paid building, paid by the taxpayers of Rochester in this county, and you're telling me there are cones and piles through, I mean, Yep. Yeah, yep. it yes, actually it serves a, quite a, a, a big service to the town to have the, the sidewalk clearing tractor perched right there in well, the village ready to go. It, it's, it, so it does, you know, it's, it serves a purpose. Yes, it is right on Main Street. Um, when we looked at um, possibly renting it to um, the Maple Soul folks so he initially was talking about brewing beer in there instead of opening a restaurant and the, the complications with um, our septic system being able to handle that activity it just was um, off the charts impractical yeah so it's um, it's not that we haven't um, you know Explored the, explored possibility the of possibilities, that. but you know, is that well? The only the, the only thing I'm recommending to the, the select board, the board of civil authority, and the rest is that check in with the state with regards to public buildings and understand the responsibility that the town of the buildings, the town owners or taxpayers of the building, have your basically jurisdiction. So I don't. I'm just recommending that Dune and Patty, Frank, and the rest check in with the state and make certain that what's going on with that building is proper and legal. Ooh, you'll throw the high school in on that. I don't too. really care what's stored in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank what's, you. Right. Hey, here's the question. We will do that. What's stored? What? 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 What is stored in the? Uh, what's stored in the high school? We don't own the high school. That's the school. So. Yeah, that's the school board about that. Yeah. 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 So, it, sadly, I had great information to share with everyone, including Martha and Nancy and the rest. But, you know, I'm, I'm actually um, very disappointed with the Wizard of Oz, Kristen, <laughs> muting me and telling me I have to raise my hand. I don't know how to raise my hand. So tomorrow morning, I'm calling the Secretary of State okay. and asking them to review this video. Dude, don't look away. I'm going to ask them to see review it. Don't look away. Ask the town <laughs> appointed. Oh, Robert. Um, okay. Did he just hang up? Yes, sir, he did. Okay. He's still here watching us. He's um, watching us, his, but he's not speaking. But he's All off right. the phone. Okay. Um... I had a couple things. You have some other things in public comment? Well, I have some old business. Yep, all right. Um, did we have any further investigation into the maintenance agreement that we're being asked to sign for the stormwater? Yeah. I, I have to get a copy from Kristen of the as-built plans there so that we have a copy of that. Should have been for payment. Well, we didn't pay anything. Well, before they paid it, should have, it should have been. Right. We, we need to get a copy of the as-built plan so we can go over this agreement okay. easier. And <clears throat> John has kept an eye on it since it's, it was put in. And the big one to the north, the, the drain there to the north, he has not seen any water flowing from that one into the, the one in the middle. And... <laughs> So there's really not much water going into them. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't, he said, I've looked at them every time it rains and watch how the ground is after we paved it all. And he said he hasn't seen any water going into that center one from that other one. Okay. So in that, if probably, you look in that other one, it's, it's bone dry. Yeah, it's probably over time so, as sediment builds up that it'll start. That'll to, do yeah, it. So it put the stone yeah. up for it and then it'll go. Yeah. yeah. And that's how that was written in there that you got to clean that friggin' st that stone. Yeah, I know. I know. I, we have to, we got to look at it. I want to see what the as built is and make sure we've got a copy of that. John knows where some of it is and 
the defender is on the end towards the river by the salt shed. That's and, buried. Well, yeah. the, the taps are there, but yeah. it, it is buried. It's got the sand pile over it right now. Right, right. <laughs> so we'll have to, I'll, I'll take care of that this week. Have any, has, have we heard from Bruce Flewelling about the Jones Mountain property issue for? We haven't. Okay. You know, <coughs> um, I talked with um, Bruce about it and he said he was going to um, try and get with Cooter, which has got the, the, software on his phone to go and do the geo location to get specific with the road so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I mean I could probably pull the deed for the right the people that are denying the right away to see if there is anything written in that have, might have to go back a few owners to see if there well, is a right away all our maps indicate that it is a road it's not a it was never thrown up as a trail or anything right so all the maps indicate, but it's a, under a, like a pent road. Mm -hmm. So we have to look at what the rules are to pent roads, and I'm not really positive how that all plays in, into mm -hmm. that. And Bruce, is a, he's done a lot of research on this stuff anyway, yeah. and so we, he was having some personal issues, and he wasn't able to address much until he gets through some of his things that are happening there so mm -hmm. so that's why that's okay where we're, it is we'll forward it again yeah yep. it's all we can do with that <laughs> is um anything else that you had on your list pat no 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 thanks for bringing those up that was um um does anybody in uh, zoom land or Need anything to? Oh, actually, I do have something. Oh, you do else have something. Say. I thought you might. <laughs> you uh, I'm in the process of compiling a grant, which is called the VTRAN Safe Routes to School Spot Improvement Program. It's designated to improve um, bike lanes and sidewalks within villages that. Uh, lead up to schools. Hello. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. We'll be right with you. And um, this no, particular no, program... Uh, uh, one second, Patty. I, um, I've been trying to make a comment, and uh, Kristen, again, has muted me. I haven't done uh, anything. No, no you one has muted you. You, you, hung up. you hung up. No, 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 no. Wait a second. Um, I asked Kristen last Wednesday if she would be so kind to prepare the deed of the firehouse for me. And tonight you basically said, oh, it's just a storage shed. Kristen, and, and Robert, you're Robert, anymore. you know what? Um, you would just jump right in and interrupt um, something that Pat no, was saying. No, no, I did not interrupt. Oh, Kristen actually, actually, um, that's not true. We got a lot of people here that You're just right. witnessed. Really? That. Yeah, yeah. You hung up. Your phone yeah, hung your up. phone hung up. You, oh, I you, did not yeah. hang up. Well, it sure yeah, sounded it like it. It disconnected from the. We are the, glad that's what you guys yeah. thought it was. Yeah. I did not hang up. Well, it's okay. It's phone. being recorded, so. Okay. Right. Okay. So, um. Back well, thank you, Pat. Patty. We'll listen to the Orca together eating popcorn on Friday night. No, we will now not. Now I'm hanging up. <laughs> okay. Good night. There you go. That's what it sounded like the first time. Yep. Okay. So, just for the record, though, he's com his computer is still on and he is unmuted, just so you're aware of that. Okay. Okay. Right. So, can I continue? Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> We're in the process of seeking grant money for a 2022 VTRANS Safe Routes to School Spot Improvement Program. It's to improve bike paths and sidewalks. And um, I did um, uh, tour the town with Rita from VTRANS. And um, we have selected a section of sidewalk that we're hoping to get a 100% non-matching grant. In other words, we don't have to come up with any matching funds. Mm -hmm. Um, to uh, restore the, the sidewalk from the parsonage up to Brook Street. And so um, 
the the sidewalk will be for the most part the sidewalk up there is wide enough to be ADA compliant there is a section by the parsonage where it might have to become a little bit wider and they will replace um, the granite curbing along the way and they are hoping that uh, there's a there's a drainage a storm drain right there at that corner mm -hmm. that will that need to be right. reconfigured and uh, we're hoping to go up around the corner not to the bridge but just curl up around the corner so that people from Brook road. Street would start on the sidewalk before they even enter Bethel Mountain Road. Yeah. Sure. Um, I believe I got an initial thumbs up um, working with Rita and she's very pleasant to work with and, and I've got... And um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which way they go. So that's the standard. Yeah, it might be. It's in pretty rough shape. I <laughs> looked at it pretty it good is. the other day when I yeah. read the meters. Also, um, the section by Catherine's Lovely Flowers are, are kind of overpowering the sidewalk a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it pushes people a little more towards the traffic. <laughs> so it might be time to cut back some of the, mm -hmm. the foliage there. The flowers but um, uh, we're, we're working on that and we're hoping by next year we will be able to complete another section and this is an ongoing program so oh, if this no. works out this time around we're gonna go back and knock on their door time and time again and um, we could include bike paths as well in the future that's okay. it right. good so this is an annual grant you're saying yes the Vermont Safe roads to school. Safe routes Safe route. to school. And we're lucky enough, we, our elementary school is right in the village, so we have so, a lot of children that walk to yeah, schools yeah. and buses. Thanks for being Good, good. That yeah. site gets used a lot. Yeah, it does. It's very yeah. busy. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, anything else anybody needs to speak about? Do I if not, I think we'll um, adjourn and, and um, pay some bills. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, all everyone. For coming. Yep. Move to adjourn. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay.